Thanks, Harrison. What we had here was a classic tale of mouth versus mouth. We had our challenger's mouth trap coming up first, and they got the suggestion of spectacles, which they used in the first scene where we saw Miranda, who farted and set off a volcano, and a mother who had her eyes melon balled out of her head and then attacked by a bird. We saw a super specific glasses scene. We met Eli Sullivan, the president of science, versus the Asian student. We saw Chris, who doesn't use all of his might when he stabs someone. We saw a bird attack callback where we learned that the bird's name was actually Rigby, and they ended it all with Ricardo, the deaf guy who was ashamed for winning charades. It was a great set by our challengers. Then we had our champions Heather Mouse coming up singing. They got the suggestion of pap smear, which they used in the first scene where we had a doctor giving his first pap smear. Uh, then we met the first gynecologist ever in 1841 in Iran who isn't taken seriously by anyone ever. Uh, we saw an orphanage who, uh, an orphan who makes tacos and then should be eaten like a pussy. It was a very complicated scene. And then they went into a constantly dying man tag run. Uh, we saw a man who's going to kill uh, his wife just for having sex with him, just in general, uh, into a detective who is vomiting at that same crime scene, into a tag run where that same detective needs to fuck the horrific evidence from that same crime scene, and they ended all with a first pap smear doctor into a your vagina is stupid diagnosis. What happened in the end? You can see Heather and Miles next week at the UCBLA cage match. For UCBLA cage match, I'm Johnny Schwartzman and Ryan Yu. Yeah, anything can happen. In a cage match?